everybody and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan. I'm your hostess. Today we're in for some thrifty fun. My friend and I hit up a um, yearly rummage sale in a town nearby. Picked up a few items there. We didn't really see anything we wanted. So we went to several thrift stores and in the area and I've got quite a few items y'all. So at the rummage sale I got a skein of peaches and cream cotton for one dollar. I'm trying to find a place to sit it. I picked up a bag of different types of shampoo and this will be donated to our room at the end for our men. Um, it's something small that they can carry. There's even a couple of toothbrushes in there that is in plastic. So that'll come in handy for them. I got two patterns for $1. This one is bunny rabbits. And this one is heirloom dolls. So they were taped together for $1. And they are brand new patterns. Got to remove some tape, y'all. The next item I'm going to show, next two items I'm going to show you, it I got for one dollar, and they're for bread baskets. And I love these for bread baskets. They come in handy, and they just really make a bread basket look lovely. And this one's actually got the pockets to put the rolls in. So I thought those were pretty neat. And I can use this also to make a copy of and make my own pattern. I got two towels. We are always, and they're both red, I'm just going to show you the one. But they're little tea towels or kitchen towels. And I really like... Um, the all cotton towels, not the fuzzy ones, but the ones that are, um, are nice. It's just flat cotton. So, well, actually, there's the other one. It's a little different. And I got eight napkins in blue because my kitchen is predominantly blue. And I don't have any blue napkins, dinner napkins, for our table when we have company. And I'm really trying to cut back on buying the paper products. I'm rolling up tape, y'all. You're going to hear me rolling this tape up. They've got tape on everything. But these are blue gingham. And there's eight of them. That's what I got at that um, rummage sale. Like I said, I didn't pick up a whole lot there. We went to Goodwill, and let's see what I got here from Goodwill. I got this little towel for 99 cents. If you can see that. And I really like that. Oh, this came from the, this also came from the, um, rummage sale. I missed this one. Isn't that pretty? And that's embroidered flowers on there. Or raised flowers. And that, I have a spot for these big towels. This is a big, big grateful dish towel. And I paid a dollar for it as well. Now, this is a tablecloth. I'm not going to open the whole thing up, but it is blue. It, it looks kind of purpley on the camera, but it's blue. And that's going to go on our dining room table. And it's got beige and white squares in it. And this was $5.99 originally. It's an orange ticket 
50% off today, and this is actually the only item I found there that was 50% off. So we paid $3 for it. And I'm going to get it washed and ironed and everything. And my blue napkins don't match exactly, but we got blue napkins. When you're buying in different places, you don't always get matching. And nothing in my house matches anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And my husband's always complaining about my purse being so big, so I got another big purse. <laughs> and my girlfriend actually picked this one up. It is $5.99. And it's got all kinds of pockets and stuff on it that I can put my stuff in, because I told her I needed something with pockets. So... I'm excited about it. And I can't read the name on it. It's uh, Atene Agner, if I'm saying it right. Atene Agner. I stopped at uh, our local RIFA. They didn't have anything. I was so disappointed today. I don't know if they didn't get a truckload in, but they normally have all my sewing stuff. And I haven't been there in over a year because they had a mask mandate in place and I refused to shop anywhere that forced me to wear a mask. But they had this little ring set up with some embroidery floss. And I thought, well, maybe I'll find something I can embroidery in the middle of that and use that as a gift for somebody. It's one of those that you hang on the wall. You know, you put a little cute little thing in there and hang it on the wall. And it's gray, and everybody's decorating in gray these days. Okay, the last... Okay, this is also... No, this is from the other one. Um, I stopped... We stopped and ate at another thrift store slash barbecue place. Uh, it's called Women of Hope. Brand new cutting board. It's 12 by 18 inches. It was priced from Bed Bath & Beyond for $17. I got it for $2 and it's still in the wrapper. It's got stains on the plastic. It's not stained though. I mean, it's just the wrapper on it. The last place we stopped was Hunt's Thrift, and we, we go, go there quite often, and I liked this, this towel, and it's the Wildflowers of Ireland, and it's got all the different wildflowers on there, and it's just really pretty, and I thought, well, that will be nice to have hanging somewhere in my house, and it will definitely be used. So, I, I now have plenty of towels to change out my towel that I use on a couple of different areas of my house that are outside of the kitchen. I picked up a, a bag, a small bag of the corks, and I do have a project that's coming up. I've just got to get the rest of the stuff to go with it. This has something else in it. It had two starfish and a sand dollar in it and I gave it to my friend because she does all kinds of crafts and they're so fragile I didn't want to bring them home but these are going to come in handy I'm always looking for measuring cups they had this one cup for 99 cents it's glass and I can use it This bag was $2.99, and it has several items in here that I wanted. Uh, these are crochets. I can use those for dishcloths. They're cotton. And it had a couple of little pot holders. It has a type of granny square somebody was working on in there. And it has a trivet, one of these 
trivets that's filled with rice. And what a neat idea. I always get ideas when I, I go out. So those are some of the things. I found this. This was their half price item. It was $5.99. I got it for $3. It's a base that I'm going to use it in my kitchen to hold all my excess utensils, my spatulas, stuff like that that I can't fit on my rack that I have hanging up in my kitchen. And it's blue. Perfect color for the remake of the kitchen. I got two of these tins. I paid $2.99 for this. They have a little saying on it. It says, Bountiful Gardens will blossom and grow greater beauty one shall not find. And on the other side, it says, Blending the talents of nature with the nurturing from mankind. This one's empty. They both say the same thing. But the reason I bought this, if I can get it open, it's full of thread. And some of these threads are brand new. And y'all know how much thread costs this day and age. So, and most of these threads looks like they're brand new. So I got two little tins and a lot of thread for $2.99. I also got a free shopping bag. So I was thrilled about that too because we, we will use these bags. But you can um, actually measure this and make you a bag to fit over this and have a decorative outside and have this on the inside. So that's my thrifty, my thrifty fun day. Uh, I think I did really well. I didn't overspend. I had a budget in mind and I kept under my budget so I was really thrilled about that. I had one item that I didn't get that I wanted. I had brought it up to the front and the lady said somebody had already purchased it but they forgot to take it off the the shelf and put it up front and it was a nice nice air fryer y'all I could have done a whole chicken in it and it was a uh, tabletop air fryer that was all glass with the motor on top and it's one of those really expensive ones and they wanted ten dollars for it and somebody had already purchased it but they didn't take it and put it off I'm thinking it was one of the employees that did that I'm not sure but you know, that's the way things go. So I just let it go and said, thank you, Lord, for the, all the wonderful blessings that I've received today. Um, go out and bless somebody else. If you've ever been blessed in the past, pay it forward. Find somebody to pay it forward to. Do like I do and pick up. Where did I put them? I put them down somewhere. Here they are. Um, if you see these in thrift stores, pick them up. Find a ministry that can use them. Phew, excuse me. Hay fever's getting me. <laughs> but y'all be blessed. Uh, some of the clips I'm going to show at the end of this is just when we were going through the, the yearly rummage sale. I only did a few shots uh, because people were starting to come in and I didn't want to get people in the shots. But just showing you some of the tables. The tables really didn't have as much as they normally would have. So we were really, you know, kind of disappointed about it, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Take care, y'all.
April irises. These are Japanese irises have bloomed. Aren't they gorgeous? And the two hostas we moved have bounced back. And they're looking really good. I think they're actually liking this spot really good. 